lady of the house. No, it actually isn't. Good morning. Um, welcome to a weekend vlog. Um, <laughs> so what you just saw was clips of me getting ready for yesterday um first of all let me um apologize for my parents i look very crusty and dusty because literally just woke up and got in this car let you know in a few seconds why but yes um yesterday you saw our clip my clips from getting ready and then heading over and we went to um, a show. It's called Shinyu. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Someone taught us, but it still took me like a second. I mean, you know, to get it right, and I never like to pronounce these on, but um, I'll put the name of it down here. So, uh, I'd seen posters and finally got to go. It was like magic. It's, um, it's a company. It's dance. Like traditional Chinese dance. And then they had um, soloist and all those things. It was great. It was beautiful, magical. Apparently, every year they change what the show is going to be. So, even though apparently it comes every year, you can go every year because it's not going to be the same show you saw last year. Now, catch up today. And, um, and then you saw me eating those. Nachos. Let me tell you about those nachos. They were vegan nachos 
and they were delicious. Uh, had jackfruit, I think cashew cheese. That's what I said. Not sure. I forgot now. But whatever it was, great. Um, it's the closest thing that I've ever had where it was like, you know, substitute for this. You think you're eating this and, you know, normally I'm like, but I don't. This is the first time that I've eaten something like that and been like, you know what? You're very close. You're very close. I'm sorry. Barbe uh, barbecue uh, or buffalo style. Uh, not cucumber. Cauliflower. I'm sorry. It's just cauliflower and buffalo or barbecue sauce. It does not make me think I'm eating a buffalo wing. I'm sorry. But now, caught up to today. We are heading over. Today is the Martin Luther King March. And, you know, Texas being Texas, throwing us a curveball. And. Totally being cold, like real cold. So last year um, was the first year they had us. Um, we said we're gonna try to make it if we can to get um, because um, one year we were like he had something important, and so we didn't make it to make it. And we were like, it doesn't matter. We'll have many more to go to. We'll go next year. That was January 2020. We all know what happened a couple months later. So they can't obviously cancel it for two years after that. And then last year was the first year that they had it. But my line sisters, my line sister had a surprise birthday party. I mean, obviously she didn't have it for herself, but it was her surprise birthday party. So, you know, that was a weekend to be had. So we missed it last year. So we were like, hey, we really have no excuses this year. We're going this year. But I kind of have an excuse called, it's cold. But I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. It's a beautiful day. Um, I have a vlog from my first one. So I'll probably link it. That was probably one of my first vlogs I, think I did. Um, it's one of the biggest. I'm sorry. Um, if not the biggest. I, if not the biggest uh, march. Not parade. March that they have here in um, America. But yeah. So we're heading to drop one of our cars off and then we'll drive back home drop one of our cars off so when we get to the end we can just have our car and skedaddle and not have to wait for a shuttle or something to drop us to take us back because again it's cold and don't know like because a lot of people are not participating are like they're not officially participating so I don't know how big it's gonna be this year because it was also supposed to be like a wintry mix they've said a wintry mix right now not really seeing it but you know how Texas is I've been rambling for a while now I just want to catch you up so yeah that's why I look like this because literally we just got up woke up and got in the car <clears throat> to come take it take it over and then we'll head back to the house and oh, head back to the house and actually get ready and eat some breakfast. But until then, I'll bring you on the march. I'm really hoping it's still a good turnout because you know, a lot of things like have not mm, had they juge or had their full comeback since COVID. So. And I don't know what it was like last year. So it might have been huge last year because the weather, I think, was nice. So I could just be talking. So bye. Hello, I'm back. So you just saw where I was telling you guys how we were moving cars for the march. And then we came home, started getting ready. And where I was like, the weather was cold. Cancel the march because other places also got ice. So now I have nothing to do today. Just off. <laughs> Which is fine because it is 
January 15th, which is what? My Founder's Day. It, well, not my Founder's Day, but Founder's Day for Alpha Kappa Alpha. So, um, I had another sweatshirt and everything planned to wear today, like for the March. You know, kind of cute. Made a little cool. Since we just sitting at the house, I worked out just the classic, you know, still wanted to wear it. But yeah, put on me some leggings and some socks. And I'm going to go here and watch some football because that's all there is really to do today. Uh, might go grocery shopping. You might see that. So now I'm trying to figure out because I was going to use this as a one vlog only. Like one weekend vlog. Don't know if I'm having enough footage to show or just, you know. So I might combine it with next weekend. Or you just might get a really short weekend vlog of me talking in a car in my bonnet and this and clips from yesterday. We'll see. I don't know. But yeah, going to relax. Happy Happy Martin Luther King Day, everybody. And Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And happy Founders Day to all my sisters of Alpha Kappa Alpha. I talked about how important red zone offense is in the postseason. You just don't get a lot of opportunities like those for the big plays that set up touchdowns. It's third down and seven. Oh. Second catch. Still working through this secondary. Whether or not it's a pick or not a pick offensively, that was just two defenders running into one another. And then David Moore, who just secured his first playoff touchdown of his career. Throw tackles all the way down the field. Ticket for a date with the Lions on Sunday. My master asks, what do you seek here? To vanquish our common enemy. What kind of sausage are these? Is it pork or beef? I don't know. Good morning. As you can see, change of venue. We're in Dallas. Lighting is hard on you. Well, my camera's setting so off, but whatever. Um, we are in Dallas. It's another weekend. Um, I'm not sure if I've decided yet if I'm going to combine the last weekend's vlog, which was supposed to be like all the Martin Luther King and stuff festivities, but because of Texas crazy weather, we didn't really, we didn't get to do it. So that vlog probably is really short so I'm still deciding if I am going to combine this weekend with that one which I probably will because I'm here in Dallas for not such like fun but not not for sad reasons I guess you could say like you know it's a celebration but it's still sad my um uncle which this is my uncle my dad's sister married him so um he's my uncle he passed away so this weekend is his funeral and that is what we are up for um and so i'm thinking as well probably not be as long either because let me raise my face and i'll be back back like i was saying i don't think this vlog will probably be that long either for um several reasons it's a funeral so you know not really like pulling out a camera type of an event and although you know my family like truly treat it as like celebrations there's you know some sadness because obviously you're sad but we truly do treat it like it, this is a celebration um especially like 
when there's no tragic reason if that's you know if it's just like a life well lived long life well lived we truly treat it as a celebration but still you don't want to be like mm, you might be sad would you like to see this vlog 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 camera that is also the second time that i've said something christmas related which is really weird um this vlog camera in your face and you know even myself i would like to feel the feelings so um i probably won't print it out obviously at the funeral and two um like i said this is my like i guess you would say uncle through marriage so um of course a lot of my blood family is going to be there but a lot of like his family which i've never met before are going to be there because he's not from here um so that you know not a cool first impression hey sorry about your family member also ignore this camera so i might like montage things like the repairs and stuff um on my cell phone and stuff just you know to kind of yada yada but yeah that's about it um this vlog is really gonna be a from what i'm telling of what i'm feeling a lot of different talking about things that are gonna happen and then not being able to show you what I are. Like only being able to show you in montage. And I'm sorry about that. But I'm getting back in the swing. I'm getting back in the swing, baby. And that comes with some bumps. And I feel like I'm getting back in the swing of doing this about one uh, every year. So I'm really going to try this year to keep some form of consistency. Even if it's like a five minute video. <laughs> just watching with music what I did for the week. Yeah, I'm doing this music, doing this music, doing this mask, and I'm getting ready, obviously, for um, the funeral. Uh, after this, I'm going to try to book it on the whole getting ready. So, I won't probably come back and talk to you because we're on our way. And I'll try to see if I can uh, put some clips in the getting ready. May or may not, because being in my mom's house, who knows, like, I can kind of control if naked parts go across, but like with me and my husband having to get ready in such close quarters at the same time, because he'll probably be up in a minute, I can't control bits coming around the camera, so I might not. You might see me doing my All right, peace. All right, so we're back. This I don't know what's going on. Exposure, let's see. Nope. There we go. It's a little brighter. So we're back. Um, and the service was beautiful. It was great. Um, we're actually, they went to the grave site and we didn't, um, grave site, not site, grave site. We did not go. We're gonna meet them back at the house for the repast. Um, these are ribbons they made for the family uh, for because he had Alzheimer's and kidney disease that's my mother in the background but yeah this is the place this is my hair I did it a little bit this morning uh, let me show you my outfit this it's just a simple literally simple black dress that you would wear and right now I have on just some black, um, green flats for today. And yeah, like I said, not gonna show much because it's a funeral. That's her, um, to put it. But I might like kind of whip out my phone at the repast to just kind of show the family like having fun. And yeah. I will see you on the um, flip side if we do anything. That one back there just yelling. By the way, so I'm kind of liking. I forgot my normal setting powder. And I just kind of finagle like the powder that I use for under my eye. And this Jaclyn Hill Luminous powder that I normally. 
what actually just no I just got and I kind of like how it turned out so let me go for this one here she comes here she comes here she comes y'all but we look beautiful right yeah. okay i'm done with you <laughs> good morning or technically it's good afternoon because it's two o'clock as you can see new day uh no face actually it's our last day we're about to head out we're gonna go visit my grandmother first um and as i'll see you probably use yeah. i did not vlog anything when we went to the repast things got away from me Got to talking. Got to have, um, got to talking. You know, just having fun, and, and I truly forgot to pull out this thing called a camera, or even my phone, just to montage. So this is gonna be a very short vlog, and this is just gonna be like a hello, getting back. It's probably more gonna be useful for me with the whole like getting back into editing, getting my camera together and um getting in the groove so hopefully next vlog i can do more so yesterday i told you about it. i tried something new with my makeup it was out of necessity but i'll say i have no makeup on right now but i actually tried something with my hair so like you saw yesterday i had like the curls and they were actually formed and i was curious i rolled them up last night i was curious what would happen if i combed them out this is what happened do i like it i don't know I don't know. I don't think so right now. It might grow on me as they like kind of settle a little bit more, but I don't know. So I probably won't do that anymore. I just let them fall as they may. But other than that, I think that's it. Um, I don't know. So I won't. I won't film a closing till I know for sure. I'm not gonna pick this camera up again. And I will not promise you that I will do this when I go to my grandmother's house because as we've seen, none of those promises I have fulfilled. So, happy Sunday. About to get on this road. Bye. Also, so I'm like, I, I was saying that I don't know if I like my hair. Let me know. Do you guys like it? Comment down below if you like it. Because maybe it's just me not knowing because I've never seen my hair like this, really. I've never combed out the curls when I got them, so. Let me know. Do you think it's cute? Or do I look like somebody's auntie? That's that's my fear. That I look like an auntie. But if you like it, then maybe I don't look like an auntie. Or maybe you guys just like aunties. Either way. <laughs> but yeah, comment. Let a girl. Let a girl know. And she's talking again. Let's see how long it takes her to find me. Is she outside? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> here, here she goes. Getting Chinese food. <laughs> We're at Rice Box.
Wonder. Hear the knowledge. The game, folks, is about two plays. And that's what it comes down to. Hear the personality. Hello, everybody. Now we went, I went from my camera being too dark, I mean too light, and now too it's really dark. But it's also probably because it's a little dark outside. Turn it on you. Um, we are not leaving. We just got through visiting my grandmother and my mom. Well, not really visiting my mom, but we've been with her and my aunt. So, oh, somebody getting some Amazon Prime at the old people's apartment. <laughs> You too, love you. Okay. Bye. Okay, that's more than once. And so we're getting on the road now. It is 5.46. So that means we probably won't get home till 10 o'clock. Or a little bit later because we make stops. But yeah. Um, probably because I won't talk anymore on here. I'm going to close out this very unusual vlog. Um, anything you see past this or if I insert stuff before this, that's probably stuff that happened on the road. That I was just like, they should see. So, this is us saying goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Here's the story. Hey, <laughs> lady! <laughs> Bathroom break. But what? Yeah, I. The only way to stop on the road where we are, because we've already passed Buggies, is Target. Oh, there's no Target sign, but here we go. Y'all's. It's only right. I don't have the key! You got it. Somehow we made it in Target. Yeah. The Black History Month stuff is out, so. That's what my black shirt is. And then he got another one. And I got this. It's an oversized shirt. You know, I don't find those often for myself. One, because I'm not the smallest. And also, I'm tall, so. Oh, that's cute. Mm. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Well, hello. Welcome back to a new weekend vlog. It is actually a Friday. Um, I'm off of work and I'm headed to a. This week is my new chapter. Um, Founders Day celebration launching, and so, uh -oh. and so, doo -doo 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 -doo. and so, they're doing a little social tonight. And it's, it's at six, so I'm figuring I'm not gonna go home probably. I'm just gonna go. So I'm gonna go shopping, go pick up some things I. Need some more Corale, Corale, the elixir. And um, this morning I had a death in my makeup family. Somehow, and it was crazy this morning because I was doing a different foundation than I do for my normal work. Since I was coming to this, I needed it to last all day. I had it in a, like, real quick not thinking most of the time I pack another makeup bag but for some reason I threw all my makeup that I needed that's not my normal makeup uh -oh. in a target bag rushing out the house through the target bag it hit something and I also have my perfume in there so I was like oh no my perfume I get to where I'm about to do my makeup and my entire bottle. And that bottle was pretty much new because I did I just got it last month. So I was hurt. Hurt, hurt. And then you had to see me like trying to scrape it off the bottle to still do my face for today. So I'm going. 
thankfully, you know, with points and they're having a sale. I'm gonna go get some more. But I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do my usual change in the car and go. So yeah, that's all. I'm getting a, I'm eating a little snack, which was technically my lunch for the day, but they fed us. Which that seems to always happen. When I need them to feed me. When I need them to feed me, they don't. Cause I don't I don't want to put that. Because although they say food, you know, it might be horse doctors. And I'm kind of hungry. I would have been very hungry because they fed us at like 11.30. And normally that's just my snack time, not my lunch time. My lunch time is normally too, so yeah. Plus, I also don't want to go in there hungry. Like, where the food? So let me, you know. Some decorum and go. All right, I'm gonna turn on my music to drive. So, since I'm doing that, I'm gonna have to let y'all go. Bye bye. That's my camera flies. Let me tell you something. Am I angry? Just a little bit. Not a annoyed. I don't know if y'all have been hearing about how kids are going into Sephora and just kind of. All in all, uh -uh, stuff up. And I'm breathing hard. I'm sorry, because I pretty much sprinted because I'm on a timetable back to the car. I'm looking for this one thing, this beauty elixir. Online, it says these two stores that are not far from each other have it. Went to the first store. She looked for me, very, you know, thorough. Came back and said, we don't have it. Seems we're out of stock. And it most likely is because people have been coming in. And by people, most, they, they were like, it's been like kids. Coming in and stealing products. So there's no way to say, like, to link up the online data because it's stolen. It's not being, you know, scanned. So online says, yeah, we still have some. She's like, it says we have four in stock. I've looked everywhere. We don't have it. Cool. I was like, thank you, lady. Went to the second one. I was like, well, it says it's here, too. Some said call. But since it's literally, like, across the street, I did not. Went in. Same thing. Walked up. Did not see it. I was like, okay, you know. Again, it might be in the back. It might be in one of them little drawers that's that goes bloop, bloop, out. Asked the man, I'm like, do you guys have this one? I mean, let's, I don't know if you can see them. I do have curlers in my hair. I just wanted to because my hair is falling. And I kind of wanted to zhuzh it up before I went to my thing tonight. But I was like, he didn't really seem like he was wanting to work. I also didn't like that he asked pretty much everyone around me for help. But like if they needed help. Kind of short, stop short of me and this other lady next to me. That did not hit me right. But I was like, hey, I'm looking for my thing right now. I need it. I just wasn't going to tell them he helped me. I'm sorry <laughs> if that makes me wrong. But again, they did not have it. He did not say anything because, again, I barely think he wanted to tell me about why. But he's like, oh, no, we don't have it. I'm going to do this one more try in person. Then I'm just going to, because it's something that I can get, actually, I think, for free shipping. Oh, I wanted it right now. I wanted it today. I technically wanted it for this weekend. All right, let me re uh, refresh my makeup. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.
It is Saturday morning. Uh, had a great time last night. Uh, hopefully, uh, I kind of I took a few clips towards the end of the night, uh, not the beginning. But we had a very good time. It was nice. I, I met some new sisters. Great. It was so funny because people could tell, like, not people could tell, but it's like, I got a lot of like, oh, why haven't I seen you before? And it was like, oh, because, you know, I just joined, like, joined the chapter. But it was, and so after that, they were like, oh, so very welcome. Had a great time. Excited. Uh, also, it was my first time really on the UTSA campus. It was very, it was very nice. But according to some of them who went before, totally different look than normal. But yes, I woke up this morning. Um, was just kind of like, hmm, gonna take a chill day today. I think I talked about it in, if not on here, it might have been on Instagram. But I was looking for something at Sephora, and each time it said they had it online. But they didn't. And so it was a whole thing. Well today, I was like, I still need it. So I called I called this time and asked them, hey, do you guys have it? And they were like, yes. And I was like, can you hold it? But apparently because they have the whole bio line, pick it up, they're not really allowed to hold stuff anymore. Like just hold it for you. For you to come in straight and buy it. So I said, what I'm not gonna do is get up here and like be my luck, they had only three, and three people come in and get them. So, I bought it online and I'm going to pick it up. If it is not there, I don't want to speak that on this, but if it is not there, four. Don't even bother. But yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Then, I'm going to head to the gym. Today is my last day of my South 75, so I have to go work out. And I'm so excited that it's done and I'm proud of myself for finishing. I might do a separate video on that or next weekend, like actually sit down and talk about that. Or I just sit and talk about it. But yeah, that was A1. I love it. And after that, I got to wash this hair. Because when I tell you, boy, I like when I do semi-straight styles and, you know, like the more heat curls. Can you see me? I don't know. But the fact that I don't wash my hair every week when I do those, because, you know, ain't nobody got time for doing those heat curls and then washing it the next week. Nobody got time for that. So I'm washing my hair again this week, this weekend, today. And then I'm going to try to do again, you know, be still slightly in this hair not reverting silk press season because I don't want to call it silk press because that's not what I'm giving myself but I'm going to do it again some more heat probably this time and the next time I wash it's probably the last bit that I'm going to get out of that one because with wash my hair and two the, I feel it the temps are about to start rising again so yeah see you guys at the gym and when we get back home Success. Make sure. Yep, it is. And they gave me a sample of K18 leave-in molecular repair hand, hand mask. Will I use this? Probably not. But you know. And it looks like my battery's trying to die on me, so I'm gonna go. Bye. on East Houston Street are a testament and a living legacy of our commitment to the San Antonio community. Building on the bold vision of our founders, Alpha Tau Omega Chapter takes pride in being a sisterhood transformed by action 
and rising in service to all mankind. We have initiated more than 355,000 members in graduate and undergraduate chapters in 12 countries. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated has continued to change the world. Celebration finished, excited. My first um, official event with my new chapter. Um, let's see, let me think of what I've showed. What I showed you guys. I showed you the breakfast, we had a breakfast. Then we took our chapter picture and then they went to church service but I came back home to pick up Edward and then you saw the actual celebration. And after that we went shopping. Did we need to? No, but we did. But I just realized, I'm trying to not show the mess that's kind of in our thing. 